Hi, third graders. Welcome to one of our very last writing lessons for the whole entire year. How crazy is that? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's making me a little choked up. Um, but I bet you're a little bit excited to be done with these essays. So here we go. So what I'm going to teach you today is how to write a conclusion for your opinion essay. Conclusion means the end. It means like the final part. So when you write a conclusion, that means that you're writing the final part of your essay. And a conclusion um, doesn't usually teach the reader anything new. Instead, it kind of reminds the reader of what they've read and makes them try to think a little differently or think kind of hard or deeply about the things that they've just learned or the things that they've hopefully been convinced of in an opinion essay. So, what does a conclusion do? Well, I already told you a little bit, but I'll go over it again. So um, there are, just like with an introduction, there are usually three big parts of a conclusion. First, a conclusion reminds the reader about the author's opinion. Kind of like, just hits the reader over the head with it. Um, you, you can't ever give the reader too much of your opinion. So at the very end of the essay, in your conclusion, you want to tell the reader one more time what your opinion is, just in case they forgot. You also show the reader that the essay is over. So you use words and phrases to just let the reader know, okay, you're done. You've read everything I have to say. And then lastly, the conclusion leaves the reader with something to think about. Um, and I'll give you some hints and some tips for how to do that at the end of this slideshow. Okay, so we're gonna do the first part first, just like always. Um, so there are a few ways that you can remind the reader of what your opinion was. Um, I have some sentence starters here for you. So you could say something like, so now you know why, or as you can see, or I hope you agree with me that. What I would like you to do right now is just pause the video and reread the paragraphs of your essay that you wrote. Um, otherwise, you might write a sentence for your conclusion that doesn't really fit the rest of your essay. So go ahead and pause, get your paragraphs, reread them to yourself. I'm gonna do the same thing, and then we'll work together to write the first sentence of our conclusion. Okay, go ahead and restart when you're ready. Okay, so here is my essay. Gosh, it's really kind of long. It's longer than I thought it would be. Um, and I don't necessarily need to read the introduction right now. I'm just going to remind myself of what is in my last two paragraphs. So one reason I'd like to meet Sonia Sotomayor is because she's brave. For example, she had to give herself a shot every day when she was a kid because she had diabetes. That must have been scary. In addition, she was the first Latina and third female Supreme Court justice ever. That must have been scary too. The second reason I'd like to meet Sonia Sotomayor is because she's determined. For example, she knew she wanted to be a judge since she was a kid. That means she never gave up her dream. To add on, she didn't give up at Princeton when she felt lonely and different from everyone else. She just kept trying. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. I'm going to try out some of these first sentences for my conclusion. So um, this is where I'm reminding the reader what my opinion was. So for the first one, I might try saying something like, so now you know why I would want to meet Sonia Sotomayor. Because my opinion was I would want to meet Sonia Sotomayor. So I'm just reminding the author, now you know. I gave you all these reasons. Now you know why I would want to meet Sonia Sotomayor. Another thing I could try is saying, and you don't need to do all of these, you're just choosing the one that works best for you, but I like to try them all out to see which one works best. As you can see, hmm, ooh, I'm gonna say something like this. As you can see, Sonia Sotomayor would be a really cool person to meet. Okay, and then the last one to try is, I hope, whoa, I hope you agree with me that, I'm going to try saying, I, oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know what's happening here. I'm just going to try.
try to tell you what I might write for that one because my keyboard is not agreeing with me. I hope you agree with me that Sonia Sotomayor would be a great person to meet. Okay, so those are three different sentence starters that you might try. Go ahead and pause the video here. Maybe just say each one aloud to practice it out loud. And then after you've said each one, choose the one that you like the best and write that as the first sentence for your conclusion. Okay, pause it and then restart when you're ready. Okay, so I'm going to choose the second one. I really kind of like that one. So I'm going to copy it and then in my essay, I'm going to go ahead and paste that, but I don't want it to be in italics. And I do want to indent to show that's a new paragraph. I actually need to do that for all my other paragraphs too. Okay. As you can see, Sonia Sotomayor would be a really cool person to meet. Okay, great. I love that as the first sentence to my conclusion. Now we're going to try out the second part of a conclusion. So the second part of a conclusion uses some kind of words or some kind of phrasing to show the reader that the essay is over. You have come to the end. Reminding the reader of your opinion also kind of does that, but now we really want to make sure the reader knows this is the end. You're all done now. We can't just say, this is the end. You're all done now. We have to be a little more crafty than that. Um, so a couple sentence starters you could try are, as you just learned, or as you now know. So I'll show you what I might write with those sentence starters. Maybe for as you just learned, I could say something like, as you just learned, and maybe I'm gonna remind the readers of my reasons. As you just learned, Sonia Sotomayor was brave and determined and just all around. So I'm showing the reader like, look, you just learned everything. You don't have to learn anything more. Here's what you learned. Um, and another one I might try is, as you now know. So let's see, that one I might write. As you now know, Sonia Sotomayor was a great judge who showed bravery and determination. So those sentences both basically say the same thing. It's just a matter of which one I think sounds better. So go ahead and just like with the last one, pause the video and then try saying each sentence starter and fill in the rest of the sentence for what you might write. And then decide which one you like better and write that one as the second sentence in your conclusion. Pause it, come back when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. I think I like my second one. As you now know, Sonia Sotomayor was a great judge who showed bravery and determination. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that into my essay, my conclusion. Okay, I'm gonna read it all together. There's a lot of rereading when you write things to make sure it sounds right when you put all the pieces together. As you can see, so does Sonia Sotomayor would be a really cool person to meet. As you now know, Sonia Sotomayor, actually, since I just said Sonia Sotomayor, I'm just going to write the word she here. Okay, as you now know, she was a great judge who showed bravery and determination. Okay, the only thing I want to change about that is that I want to get rid of the word was and put in the word is because Sonia Sotomayor is still alive and she's still a judge. Um, so as you now know, she is a great judge who showed bravery and determination. This is my favorite part of conclusions, this last part. Um, so the last part is when you leave the reader with something to think about. Um, so sometimes you can do this by asking a question like, don't you think? Um, sometimes you can explain why your opinion is an important one or why the person or the thing that you're writing about is so important. And then sometimes you can leave the reader with some kind of a hope of what they might think about or what they might learn or what they might take away from what they read. So let's try each of these. I'm gonna start with the question, don't you think? Let me stop. What do 
do I want to ask about Sonia Sotomayor? Um, okay. I'm going to say, don't you think it would be life-changing to meet her? And just kind of put the reader in my shoes and make them think, like, would they like to meet her? Okay, so that's the question. The next one, we um, try to have the reader think about why what they just read was important. So um, the blank is where you would put the name of the person that you wrote about. So Sonia Sotomayor or Wilmer Rudolph. So I'm going to write Sonia Sotomayor is important because she teaches us that so many things. She teaches us that believing in yourself and working hard can help you accomplish great things. Okay. Um, I like that one, but I'm going to try out the last one too. The last one says, I hope that you. Um, so this is just asking the reader Asking the reader to like think about what they read and um, I'm trying to come up with the right words to explain this, and it's tricky for some reason. Asking the reader to think about what they read and then maybe just take some sort of action or take some sort of thinking process to follow up on what they read. So, gosh, I'm going to say something like, I hope that you. agree that it would be great to meet her too. Okay, that one came out kind of clumsy for me. You might find a better way to word that one. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. Try out each of the sentence starters. See which one you like the best and then write that as the very last sentence of your essay. Okay, go ahead and pause. Okay, welcome back. So I definitely like my middle one the best. I think that it goes best with the rest of my essay and I just really like how it sounds. So got all my sentences in there now. I'm going to reread the whole conclusion and then be done. As you can see, Sonia Sotomayor would be a really cool person to meet. As you now know, she is a great judge who showed bravery and determination. Sonia Sotomayor is important because she teaches us that believing in yourself and working hard can help you accomplish great things. Oh, I love it. I love my writing. Okay. Um, sorry if that sounds braggy. I guess I'm just believing in myself. Uh, okay, so that's it. You wrote your conclusion. And I want to make sure you noticed that the conclusion came at the very end of my essay. So it came after the paragraphs that I wrote. And of course, the introduction is the beginning. So once you finish your conclusion and you've reread the whole thing from start to finish, you've got your introduction, your two reasons, and your conclusion, then go ahead and submit it in the opinion essay submission folder. And um, I really, really look forward to reading it. I know you worked hard on these. Um, and it's kind of like the last big writing assignment of the year. And I, I just can't wait to see what you did. Okay, um, I wanna show you the very last slide because you did it. Give yourself a high five. Make sure your conclusion is at the end of your essay, then give yourself a high five. You did it. Good job, great race. Let me know if you have any questions. See you later.